Hi everyone, welcome to today's market update. Today's update is slightly late. Sorry about that. First, the two videos on HDFC have got a very good response. They are not just result coverage, but they also talk about what I think are the key issues, opportunities, deep dissection of the results. So if you are an HDFC bank investor, it will add a lot of value to you. Today's market action, fortunately, there was no reversal after lunch. Markets were green throughout the day. They went on going up and up and up. The only big eyesore was HDFC bank. I had predicted that HDFC bank will probably open higher and after that it will start correcting. The same thing played out. Most market participants did not like the results. One good thing was that the market realized that the problems are HDFC bank specific. As a result, the bank index or the big bank stocks like ICICI did not fall. In fact, they were up a lot. Probably HDFC banks lost his ICICI's gain. Nifty had a second green day. Bank Nifty was up as well. Both indices were up nearly 1%. S&P and NASDAQ have opened green. Seems like a good day in the US market today. FI had an off day on Friday when they bought. They were back to selling today. 3,000 crores sold. DIIs as usual bought whatever they sold. It's a crazy game where FIs know whatever they will sell. DIIs will buy it. DIIs know they have to buy whatever FIs will sell. It's anybody's guess who's making money and whose money is being lost here. Think of it, if you are the decision maker, you know that if you buy something, someone will definitely sell. If you have to sell something, someone will definitely buy. Will you not make money out of this situation? In the heavyweights, Reliance ahead of its results was up nearly 0.75%. It is going to definitely cross 3000 tomorrow. The results are good. TCS had a fall when the results came out. However, it was up. The strange part is TCS is up when NASDAQ has been going down significantly. 1.35% up. ICICA benefiting from HDFC bank perhaps. ATL was beneficiary from two things. One, it was clear that Geo's ARPU will go up. It is up by about two or three rupees year on year. And there are already talks going on that most telcos will revise their packages upwards. My guess is 10 to 15% increase is likely on the cards in the telecom world. Bad news for you, but good news for the telcos like Airtel, Vodafone, Geo. HDFC bank because of today's fall is further away from the 52 week high. If some funds decide to exit HDFC, it is headed towards at least 1400 for now. So Bitcoin halving was a no event. There was speculation that BTC will cross 80,000 around the halving event. Nothing like that happened. It turned out to be a no event. However, Bitcoin in general has gone up a lot in the last week. HDFC results I have already covered in two detailed videos. For me, the results were not that great. There was a lot in the results that required going through and reading. I don't cover Reliance Group. I don't invest in Reliance Group. So I won't talk too much about it. Persistent fell nearly 10%. At the worst, it was 14% down. We'll talk about it. Gold is stable. There is a bit of profit booking. People have realized that war is probably postponed. So gold and Brent are both stuck around the current levels. No trigger to go up further right now. Brent had $10 worth of pricing for war. $5 it has already corrected. It will correct another $4-$5. But that will happen over about 2-4 to four weeks. INR versus USD, INR is very close to all-time lows, the highest return here, it is all-time lows. This is actually good news for IT and export companies, they get more rupees per dollar. The market where today was actually better than Friday, the right side graph is for today, only one sector was bad, natural gas. From now on, you can expect the market action to be sector specific and stock specific on a given day. This typically happens when markets are at all-time high and most people turn traders. Nifty 50. HDFC down, NTPC down, JSW steel down, Indesit down a bit, rest the entire 50 stock was good. Most stocks were up between 1-3% to which is good news. Bank Nifty, HDFC down, Indesit down a little, AU small finance down a lot. Pandhan has been falling like anything, it recovered 4%. Besides HDFC, everything was fine. This is a new graph. I mentioned it last week also. Let me know your feedback if it makes sense. The orange bar is distance from 52 week low, which means HDFC Bank is very close to its 52 week low. Kotak Bank is very close to its 52 week low. The blue line is distance from 52 week high. So ICICI Bank at current price is very close to its 52 week high. SBI is very close to 52 week high and so on. If it makes sense, please let me know in the comments. I'll include it in the dashboard. Let's quickly check what happened into Persistent. Persistent this entire month has been down. The results actually were not bad. The sales trend is fine. The numbers have been steadily increasing. Expenses, okay. Operating profit, no surprises. A little less growth. What else? Net profit, 
2.29263286315 this is healthy eps is growing let's check annual numbers sales are growing operating profit growing so no major metric seems to be bad the dividend ratio is fine let's explore the sales this probably is the culprit 17% sales growth 36% sales growth 46% sales growth so market was associating a high pe because of these high numbers in sales growth which have reduced to 17.62% so this no longer justifies the high pe of persistent that is why it got punished let's also check the quarter on quarter growth 51% 45 37 23 17 15 14 so a downward trend is clearly there in the quarterly sales numbers which market is not liking at all let's zoom out a little right volumes today were ultra high these volumes mean probably some big player has exited and sold a lot today that led to the large fall where a dia or fia probably dumped the stock usually these sellings don't spread over multiple days for whoever wanted to sell would have ended the sale today hopefully tomorrow will be a better day overall i don't see any big issue with persistent sales growth was artificially high last year and that was there for many many companies this probably was a normal number the previous number with which market is comparing right now that was an unfairly high number that kind of growth is not sustainable for any company i trades doing most stocks except lnt technologies improved a bit i didn't sell anything today but i bought icic securities the results were fine the euphoria over the results is over this i bought with two or four week kind of time frame in mind i'll probably settle some trades tomorrow or day after if the market remains good elections are at its peak result season is at its peak it is a very difficult time for day traders short term trading will probably not be very lucrative if you make money in the short term it will probably be more because of luck than skill if you are a compulsive trader take slightly longer view at least a week in your trades investors have a choice my personal feeling is most of the stocks which are investment grade you will see them again at similar levels multiple times in this year it is up to you whether you want to continue buying as an sip or continuously over time in the long run you will make money as of now there is no negative event in sight everything looks good tomorrow should be a good day again the next event to watch is thursday expiry and some more results will keep coming i'll repeat the same warning as last time if you are a trader don't leave the terminal markets are volatile they can turn in the other direction anytime thanks for watching and i'll see you tomorrow